Hi, I'm very excited about this video. I'm going to be reviewing Gear Lab's latest carbon fiber agreement paddle, the Nutilic. I feel very lucky to have been given the chance to uh, paddle with it, test it, review it, and then uh, report back my findings. A couple of years ago, I was toying with the idea of getting a carbon fiber agreement paddle, especially a two piece. I thought it'd be really easy to transport and I'd be able to put it on my deck so that I can switch back and forth easily between my Euroblade and the Greenland Paddle. Uh, and then I thought if I'm gonna go for carbon fiber, I might as well go with a traditional design to the paddle. Uh, so after a lot of research, I came across Gear Lab and their Kuroshio model, which is based on a traditional design with high shoulders. It was a light, nimble paddle with a very strong ferrule. And after a couple of days out on the water with it, I fell in love with it. It was great for long day paddles. It was great in rough water. It was really forgiving for rolling. All around, a great, great paddle. And when I found out about Gear Lab's new model, the Nutilic, I was very intrigued to see what changes they had made. So let's talk about the changes. First off, shoulders, a little bit smaller, a little bit sleeker. So that means you can paddle with a looser grip on the paddle. And after a full day of paddling, it felt great. Second, the length of the loom is a bit longer. And I did find that to be a bit more comfortable. Third change, and this is a great one, they're using interchangeable plastic tips at the end of the paddle. Now this is a great change because you'll often bottom out with Greenland paddles because they're so long. So it's great to know that if you're gonna hit a rock or anything, you can easily replace it and not hurt the paddle. This next change is very interesting. Gear Lab has opted to go with hollow paddles. Now there are some other manufacturers that will sometimes use foam cores and other different types of materials. Uh, Gear Lab feels that by being hollow, they are a bit more buoyant and they are lighter paddles. Uh, so you can actually tell that there's just a tiny little bit of give in the Kuroshio. Now in the Nutilic, there's a spine going down the middle to make it a little bit more rigid. Now lastly, the paint job. All of these paddles are available in lots of different colors. This orange model that they sent me is absolutely stunning. It looks great. It has a great finish and out in the water is extremely visible. I know that this is a great addition uh, for safety. Now let's talk about performance. Out in the water, it was nimble. It felt really light. It was really slick through the water. Uh, the catch was very smooth. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I spent many days out on the water with it just to make sure uh, it felt great. So for rolling, it was an absolute blast. It was super buoyant, very forgiving. It was really smooth through the water when sculling or doing sweeps. So all in all, great job Team Gear Lab. This is a great paddle. Thank you so much for letting me test it. Uh, I love my Kuroshio and I have to admit that the improvements you've made for this paddle are excellent. Uh, it's a blast to paddle, it's very comfortable, it's very forgiving and it's excellent for rolling. I can't wait to test it out in bigger surf and uh, for longer paddles I will report back when I have more information. If you want to find out more about Gear Lab and what they're up to, I'm going to be placing links below. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out with an email or just comment below as well. And uh, feel free to subscribe if you like. See you next time.